I always sang in English, like mm. all my songs I always sing in English and everything. And then when I got to Chile, like I really started loving the the, the Spanish sound, like mm. the La Musica Urbana, like mm. everything that was coming new was so cool for me. So I really loved, loved, loved that and it inspired me a lot. Welcome back to Get It Girl. Please welcome super talented Latina artist Paloma Mami. Hola Mami. Hey, hola. 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 Thank you guys. Now, I course. mean, uh, we're super excited to have you here. Yeah, thank you. And we're so excited for everything that's happening right now. Your career, like all the nominations, mm -hmm. awards. Girl, like you the, are it right now. Yes. Like you are the yes. it girl. It's you know. going viral. <laughs> thank you. Thank so you. So tell us about the video or the music that went viral that had like 158 uh, streams. I don't know which one's that one. <laughs> she went all of them. Which yeah. one? Do you, know you don't know which one that is? <laughs> Not steady. Yes. That oh, one yeah. that went uh, viral. The it's so many. That I didn't even know that. You didn't know <laughs> that? No. <laughs> that's how <laughs> familiar she works. is. Oh, she knows. That's why you're like, wow. She just puts it oh, up. Wow. That's cool. Though, yeah. Because that's that that song was like my first song. So yeah. I literally made that like so like first time I ever tried making a song. It came out. Being oh, really? that, so pretty cool. Oh, nice. cool. So when you first started getting into making music, was there an mm -hmm. artist out that you had really wanted, that inspired you, or that you wanted to sort of follow in mm -hmm. their footsteps? Yeah, there's like a bunch of artists. I think in the in the Latin industry, like there was a whole new wave of like musica urbana, mm -hmm. and that's yeah. when like everyone started coming out, girls, guys, and mm. everything. So that inspired me really. I was like, wow, that's so cool. Like, yeah, so, that's so hopped nice. in, you know. So tell us about your release. You released the song this mm -hmm. December. Yeah, Mami. 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 Uh, we were listening yeah. to it in the green room. We're like, like, like okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> tell yeah. us about that. Um, well, that song is like my my child. Like, yeah. I worked so, oh, I just covered the microphone. That's okay. I, that's fine. I worked so hard on that song. Literally recorded that like 15 million times to get oh. it right. Like, I changed everything from the beginning to the top, like, so many times, because I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> so That's why you're here. It turned out like that. And yeah. I think it's perfect, because it's my message always, and my music is always about empoderando las mujeres, like, Bien. always women empowerment. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the song kind of, like, is a really good description of that, you know? Mm. So I'm really happy with how the song turned out. And then we came out with a fire music video. And yeah, it's pretty lit. Oh, my Ooh. God. Are you coming out with an album soon? Can you share? Um, I can't. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, under wrap. A, bunch of, a bunch of music. So, yeah. That's incredible. Now, I was reading an article um, that was just talking about you, and it was basically saying, like, you're carrying this new, like, the Latin music scene and hip hop, it's its not anything new, but in mainstream, it really has just mm -hmm. tol totally crossed over. But you're kind of working more with some R&B as well. Yeah, for sure. So where did your love of R&B come from? Did that come from any other Latin artists or was it, no. you know, something you discovered? Um, I think like the mix of being born and raised in New York like helped me a lot because that's where I got like my R&B love. Mm. Like that's where I got the love for that um, hip hop, like all all that type of music and in Chile is like where I got the love for urban Latin Spanish music mm. so I feel like that mix is what made my sound t today yeah because I love R&B and I feel like in Spanish it's it still doesn't exist like how it should like no. it does not exist you know so like everybody always tells me like I'm always like oh like I'm about to do an R&B so they're like R&B does not work in Spanish and I'm like it's gonna work no, now exactly. like, one, yeah. one listen to your music and they're yeah. gonna be like oh wow yeah, exactly. I was so wrong you. so you live in Chile right now yeah, how was it to transition from New York and to Chile it was crazy the change was like really really drastic obviously like in New York um, everything from the fashion like the people mm. like the city is so different yeah so it was a crazy change but I'm glad it changed it was for the better obviously because I wouldn't be where I am now if it wasn't for me moving to Chile mm. and I really got in touch with like more my family like which is I'm mm. so happy about I love my family so much we've always been really close to my family mm -hmm. you know how Spanish people are <laughs> I know we always keep so, it close you don't feel right if you're not close with your for family real. <laughs> yeah so it was really good to be back yeah so how do you feel like moving to Chile really helped your artistry yeah it helped a lot with um como, like I always I always sang in English like mm -hmm. all my songs I always sing in English and everything and then when I got to Chile like I really started loving the 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 Spanish sound like mm -hmm. the La Musica Urbana like mm -hmm. everything that was coming new was so cool for me so I really loved 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 that and it inspired me a lot 
I love it. I'm mm. so excited by what yeah. you've been putting out. But I want to also good. look forward, right? If you could choose anyone to collaborate with, maybe on like some upcoming projects, who would you collab with? Oh, man. <laughs> Let's get your wish list. <laughs> I put it out in your wish list. Like, um, um, one male and one female. Okay, well, Rihanna. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. Love Riri. When is she going to drop R9? No. Okay, <laughs> yeah. actually, yeah. But, okay, because there's so many females. I love there are, I yeah. love Janae Aiko. Yes. Jesse Ray is his fire. Of course. Mm -hmm. um, Male-wise, um, I think, like, production-wise, Kanye West. I think that should... Give me a lot to curse. No. It's fine. I think that <laughs> would be crazy. You can curse, you can do whatever. This is our living room here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, that would be crazy. Oh my um, god. Yeah, with Pharrell too. That would oh, be crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that would be. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Welcome back, guys. We want to get to know Paloma Mommy a little bit more, so we're going to play a customized game called What Paloma Mommy Would Do. We're going to read you a series of different situations, and you got to tell us what you would do in those situations. Interesting. Sound okay. good? Yeah. All right, Artifacts yeah. is going to start okay. with the first This is a long one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was like, okay. You get back from a long day of work, and when you get home, your significant other, who hasn't been working, asks you, where are you making, oh, what are you making for dinner? Oh, hell no. <laughs> well, uh, luckily, I don't cook. Um, so I say I'm sorry, yes, like, what are you talking about? You know I don't cook. I never, uh, <laughs> no. You're like, uh, so funny. cook? Like, uh, you so, go and cook. No, yeah, he does cook, actually, so. Oh, okay. I would be there like, where's go. your Postmate app? Like, because you're ordering <laughs> that. Yeah, like, that drive me somewhere. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's date night tonight? Yep. <laughs> All right. How about you caught your best friend's boyfriend kissing someone else on the street? It's over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's over. What? You go happened? straight to telling her? Of course. First, I stop that. Yeah. <laughs> I square up, and then the I go tell York. my girl. I take pictures, <laughs> and then I go tell my best friend. Oh no. my god, that's a good. You never believe this. Yeah, you have to let them know. Of course, I, I don't mean, know who would be cruel enough to not like. I'm protecting her. No, yeah, you're no, not. no, no, you're not. You're hurting no. her. But yeah. sometimes your friends are like, Nah, I don't believe you. Exactly. You that's the what picture. the pictures are for. Yeah, but then the pictures like, Nah, it's not him. Nah. What would you well, your friend needs help. <laughs> then she's blind. Yeah, exactly. Oh, she's she's like, in denial. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next question. Um, if you could switch bodies with someone else for one day, who would you pick? <gasps> oh, Sam Hayek. Oh, my oh God. we just <gasps> talked about her. Did you, did you see her? Uh, she was just. What was it? The Golden Globes? That yes. Yeah. yeah. She's that was a corset, she's though. Fabulous. That was like underwear. Wow. It was. Yeah. Well, she, that was she looked top. good. That was underwear. She, she did it. Whatever she, she did, I need to do that too. Crazy, <laughs> she's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. That's a good choice. That's I always choice. choose her. Actually, I've gotten that question before, and I say, "Someone." <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> um, so, if you had the one ring of Lord of the Rings, would you keep it or destroy it? Uh, have you seen Lord of the Rings? Of course. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Some people have it. I would. Do, and I, I just. I, I don't. Wouldn't get it. What? I just leave it. There, I you guess. Is that an option? Touch it? No. Yeah. Is that an option? I'll leave it. Just yeah, you know, get it. That's someone else's problem. Okay. Yeah. I saw what happened to Frodo. I yeah. saw what happened to Smeagol. I don't need that happening. I'm not, I'm not you don't know. What if you don't know? What if well, you don't know anything movie. about the rings? Oh well. Um. Well then, you see that I love that we're talking about. It's just telling you. I don't know. I don't me. think I would pick things up. Me and Artifacts are major Lord of the Rings nerds. Yeah. Yeah. So when we saw this, we're like, oh my god. Like, what we're like nerding do? out. What would you guys do? I mean, I guess if I didn't know anything about the yeah, powers, obviously. I would like probably keep it. And I would probably end up like Gollum or something. Yeah. <laughs> me too, I'm sure. I would be like, my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's got the voice and everything. Um, I practiced okay, it. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you could choose one superpower, what would it be? Um, oh, you, like Mystique from X Men. I thought oh. her. Is that not, that's kind of lame though? But that's always you know the first thing I've had. It's not lame. lame. It's what would there's Paloma do, things. right? This is yeah, the game. It's but there's way do. cooler things like mind control. <laughs> <laughs> Watch no, out for this um, one. I <laughs> know, I know. No. But I think that was cool, like Mystique when like the shape shifting. Yeah, yeah, cool. that's yeah, pretty yeah, awesome. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, if your boyfriend leaves his phone unlocked, would you go through his messages? No. 
No. This is a good girlfriend right here. I'm not like that. That's not yeah. weird. I think that's... I, I, I agree. Yeah. I have friends who, like, have their boyfriend's passwords or even their husband's passwords, and it's a normal thing for them to just be like, let me see your phone. Yeah, that's and I'm weird. Like, mm. How do you trust somebody like that? I, don't, I think that's really weird, yeah. It becomes and, Like, toxic. I know people that do that, too. I know people that, like, go into their... Like, they know... They guess passwords and stuff, and I'm like, yo, you crazy. Like, I always feel like... I can never... Yeah. I would never dare. Like, I'm... I'm look, no. <laughs> I always feel like if you're looking for something, like you're gonna find you're it. You're gonna yeah. find it. Yeah, you're definitely. Just that's gonna just what's gonna happen. All the pictures. Okay, there. if you could pick to <laughs> sing with Maluma or Bad Bunny, who would you pick? Um, no features, 2020. Hey! hey. We got a Cole over here. Double Shrew? platinum, no feature. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, well, let's see. I think we have some more time. Um, let's see. If you could travel back in time and change one thing, what would it be? Wow. Damn. But the thing is, like, you can't, that's kind of a hard question because those things that I would change, like, are kind of like a catalyst in life and yeah. the world and everything. Mm. And, like, the world wouldn't be the same without that. No, so I don't know. I, agree. I can't. I, I don't know. I wouldn't say. I don't. Maybe just humans. Climate change. <laughs> climate change. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's if change something about Where the would world. you, where in the world would you go back? I don't know. But yeah, no. Yeah. I am very much a believer of, like, whatever has happened in my life has taken me to where yeah. I am yeah. today. Exactly. So it's like, I yeah. don't want to change that, you know? Yeah. Oh, I kind of <laughs> would like to see what happened before, like the Asian time, like the mm -hmm. Egyptians or something. Oh, yeah. To see too. what, so what cool. really went on there. But that's like there. if you want to time travel, the question was what would change. Yeah. Yeah. But if I want if time I was to travel, time travel yeah. I would go into the future. Yeah? Yeah, you oh, would. Yeah. I would would you ever future. move to Mars? Yes, it's if, if it's livable in there. <laughs> 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 All right, the questions are getting weird, but we had so much fun with you. Thank <gasps> yes, you again thank for being here. Uh, Paloma Mommy, check her out. Check out her, out her music.